Welcome to our lecture online. In our next problem, we're given the sum and the difference of two vectors. We're given that a plus b is 11i minus j plus 5k, and a minus b is minus, 5 a, minus 5i plus 11j plus 9k, and we're supposed to find the individual vectors a and b. How do we do that? Well, we should realize that 11 is the sum of the x and y components of the two vectors. So in other words, a sub x plus b sub x is equal to 11. And we're told that the difference of a sub x minus b sub x is a minus 5. So a sub x minus b sub x must be equal to minus 5. Now if we take those two equations and we add them together, look what happens. We get 2a sub x, the b sub x cancels out, is equal to 11 minus 5, which is 6, and therefore a sub x is equal to 3. Now, if a sub x is equal to 3, and we plug that in here, we can then say that 3 plus b sub x is equal to 11, or b sub x is equal to 11 minus 3, which is equal to 8. Now, we can do that. We can do the same thing for the y component and the z component. So, let's go ahead and do that. We can say that a sub y plus b sub y is equal to a negative 1 and a sub y minus b sub y must be equal to a positive 11. If we now add those two equations together, we get 2a sub y, the b sub y's dropout, is equal to 10, so a sub y is equal to 5. And if a sub y is equal to 5, we can plug that in here. We can say that 5 plus b sub y is equal to negative 1, or b sub y is equal to negative 1 minus 5 or negative 6. We can do, a, again, the same thing with the z components. We can say that a sub z plus b sub z must equal a positive 5, and a sub z minus b sub z must equal a positive 9. When I add those two equations together, I get 2a sub z. The b sub z's cancel out. That's equal to 14, or a sub z is equal to 7. And then if I plug that into this equation, I can say that 7 plus b sub z, b sub z is equal to 5, or b sub z is equal to 5 minus 7, or minus 2. Now I have all the components of a and b, so I can write out the solutions. I can say that a is therefore equal to a sub x, which is 3, in the i direction, a sub y, which is 5, in the j direction, and a sub z, which is 7, in the k direction. And now for vector b, that is equal to b sub x, that would be 8 in the i direction, minus 6 in the j direction, and minus 2 in the k direction. And so those are the two vectors a and b. That is how it's done.